हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द लुकस स्टूडियो फॉर्मूला सीरीज बाय एनालिटिक्स लिव दिस इज द लास्ट वीडियो ऑफ द 21 वीडियो सीरीज सो लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू अपेंड और मर्ज टू फील्ड्स इनटू अ सिंगल फील्ड फ्रॉम टू डिफरेंट डेटा सेट्स in luka studio so you can see out here we have two data sets two of different sources but of same website so you can see there are items with total revenue in both the data set so first one has items related to the clothing category second has the item related to electronics and its accessories categories so the data sets are of different but the main goal is of sale and revenue so the client wanted to see both in a single field or in a single table together but not differently like clothing is different and electronics is different not in that scenario but together as a single field so you can see both has 20 rows we want to make a single field which has 40 rows with all the items of clothing and also all the items of electronics so let's check how to do that so first we have to select both the tables and join them so to do that i have selected both and then right clicked and clicked on blend data so automatically uh, it takes i think left join it will take but in our condition we will not take left join but we will take full outer join i'll tell you why we take the full outer join so the reason behind that we have taken the full outer join is we don't want to uh, make them mix with uh, both of them together that uh, whether they are matching or not because in the left join it does the same and or right join or in the inner join it matches with the rows so we don't want to match with the rows rather we want every data from the two data sets to come up so you will see there are two tables that has been created both for item and item revenue so from table 1 we'll take the item from table 2 we'll take the item and from both the tables we'll take the revenue so you can see uh, where there is items in table 1 there is item null in this case because both are not matching or we have used the outer join so they will differentiate so post 20 you can see items of table 2 has come up and revenue is also in there and where the cases doesn't match all or the uh, all the other fields are null in that cases so now this will uh, not help us to make it in a single field to do that we have to use a calculated field so let's create a calculated field first so let's add calculated field let's name this item colis so from this name on only you can understand that the formula we are going to use is colis so what colis will do colis will actually Uh, append the both tables together or merge the both tables together and give us a single table a single field for that so item from table 1 and we'll also select item from table 2 then let's apply this and there you go you can see both are merged there is no null but both are merged and you can see both the tables data of item into a single field let's remove this two but still you can see some of the total revenues are for table 1 and some are for the table 2 and there are nulls also because total revenue we haven't merged so let's also merge the total revenues so that we have a single field for item and a single field for total revenue same again we have to use colis total revenue from table 1 and total revenue from table 
now let's apply this and let's remove so now we have items merged into a single field from two different data sets and also the revenue of them uh, let's cross check one or two of them if you see laptops 50,000 and you can see laptops 50,000 Smartphones 45,000, smartphones 45,000. One from this table, jeans 22,000, jeans 22,000. So this is how you create a single field out of the two data sets. You can also use this uh, to maximum of five because in blend we have a condition that we can give five data sets at max. I hope it helped you understand how to append or merge to your data sets so though it is the end of this series but we will definitely come up with more interesting videos also if you would like us to take up any formulas or scenarios which you feel was missing in this series and you would like to learn the same please feel free to comment on this video or any video of this series and also do subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you.